Our top story tonight, a deadly shooting at a Minneapolis homeless encampment. And multiple arrests have been made in that shooting tonight. Fox 9's Maury Glover joining us live in Minneapolis. And Maury, this is not the first time this particular encampment has had issues with violence. No, this is the second shooting at that encampment in the last month, and this one left one person dead and two others behind bars. See what happened. Yeah, it's a shame. Violence erupts at an encampment in South Minneapolis on Tuesday night. It makes me want to leave. How come? Just getting too crazy. Crazy okay. down here. Police say they were called to the encampment in Ventura Village around 5 o'clock, where officers found a 45-year-old man with apparent gunshot wounds. Paramedics transported the man to HCMC, but he was declared dead at the hospital. Police say they arrested the suspected shooter in the encampment and recovered a gun nearby. A second man was also arrested, but it's not clear how he was involved in the shooting. Right now, the circumstances around the shooting are unclear, uh, but investigators are currently working to determine that. Police cleared the camp while officers processed the scene and brought in a Metro Transit bus to be a warming house. The city was supposed to close the camp on Thursday, but decided to postpone the move until next Tuesday to get more community members into housing. Um, there's 180 people and only so much that can be done in, in five days. Realistically, not that much that can be done in five days, especially without um, more help from the city. But some neighbors say the encampment has been the source of ongoing problems, from trash to another shooting and even a baby found deceased in the encampment back in October. And they say it can't be closed soon enough. I'd like to see the city come and get this out of here and... Hopefully try to find these people someplace to go, but this camp is not good for the neighborhood. It just needs to be gone. Now, police say the people who were displaced by that shooting should be able to return to the encampment once that scene has been cleared. They say they may also step up patrols in the area just to be safe. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Maureen Glover, Fox 9. New tonight, dozens of people packed the street playing music and holding signs in a show of support for a controversial Minneapolis encampment. They don't want the city to close it down. This is a new view from above that camp where a man was shot and killed last night. The city of Minneapolis had planned to clear it tomorrow. Now, that's not happening. David Schumann found out what's behind the delay and what's next for the site. Minneapolis police have become a common sight at Camp Nenukasi, an encampment in the Ventura Village neighborhood. A man was shot and killed there Tuesday. Since mid-August, officers have responded to nearly 90 911 calls in the area. It's just um, a situation where it's unsafe and vulnerable people that um, we're hoping can have treatment or housing instead of being in this area, and, it, and it's attracting all kinds of predators. With both the camp's residents and neighbors in mind, the Metropolitan Urban Indian Directors, which represents dozens of Native-led organizations, has called for an immediate closure. At the end sum for us is um, what's the best for um, our relatives, and in this particular case, for the public safety and um, public health issues. The city will close the camp next Tuesday, a delay, a spokesperson says, in order to get more people housed. By then, the city says it will have moved about 90 people into housing. Hennepin County's outreach team has helped dozens as well. The success of this model is that they really are where people go and people trust, they build trust with folks. Still, the camp's believed to be home to up to 180 people, and it's unclear where the ones who don't move to housing will go. We're not here to demonize anyone in our community. We want positive results. The Indigenous People's Task Force wants to buy the land and build a new community center. Plans call for a communal kitchen and garden, a theater, and HIV testing and case management. This will give us the space that we need to, to do our work, and we, and we do good work. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News. Police arrested a man for last night's deadly shooting at the camp. As of tonight, he has not been charged.